Okay, so chapter seven, temperature and time. Uh, temperature, you're definitely gonna have to memorize the formulas. So for Fahrenheit, when you're trans when you're converting Fahrenheit to Celsius, I always memorize FSD because Fahrenheit, you take your Fahrenheit, then you subtract and then you divide. With Celsius to Fahrenheit, I memorize CMA. You take Celsius, you multiply, and then you add. So whether you're subtracting or adding, it's always 32. Whether you're dividing or multiplying, it's always 1.8. So Fahrenheit, you subtract 32, divide 1.8. Celsius, you multiply 1.8, add 32. So if you, I kind of use those abbreviations to help me memorize what to do. So if I take Fahrenheit, I subtract 32, divide 1.8, I'll end up with Celsius. If I start with Celsius, I multiply 1.8, add 32, I end up with Fahrenheit. Uh, so 98.6 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit FSD, so I subtract 32, then I divide 1.8, that's 37 degrees Celsius. If I started with Celsius, say I have 8.8 .8 Celsius, Celsius is CMA, multiply, so I always multiply 1.8, then add 32, 47.84, or round it to 47.8. So we see we have 37 and 47.8. So F, S, D, or C, M, A. Just remember the addition and subtraction is 32. The division or multiplication is 1.8. Time. There's all kinds of rules to memorize with time. Um, you know, when you're converting to military time or the 24-hour clock, it always has to be four digits, no AM or PM, no colon. And this actually is a safety measure because it, it's easy to miss an AM or PM. So if you have two o'clock written down, Without knowing AM or PM, you're not sure. But if you have 0200 and 1400 written down, you know if it's AM or PM. Um, I even I have my cell phone set to military time. I actually made a mistake one time because when I was setting my alarm on my cell phone, I accidentally sent it for PM instead of AM, and I missed an appointment. So from then on, I kept everything in military time. Um, so the easiest way I think to do it is visualize a clock. So you see you have your clock here. And if it's morning hours, and when I say morning, remember, first thing in the morning is 12 a.m. Um, the very start of a day, which is actually midnight the previous night, it's 12 a.m. So 12 o'clock a.m. starts your day. So this 12, if it's the very start of a day, think of it as 0, 0100. And then your morning hours, 0, 0100, 2, 0, 0200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1100. So 1100 is 11 o'clock in the morning. 1159, 1159 is a morning hour, right before noon. As soon as you hit noon, so you go from 0, 0,100 to 1,200. 1,200 is noon. Once you hit noon, the next hour, which would be 1 p.m., becomes 1300. 
So you go 0100 to noon, then you jump to 1300, 14, 15, 16, so 1800 to 6 p.m., 1900 to 7. 2300 hours is 11 p.m. That goes all the way to 2359. Then you go to midnight. Midnight is, midnight has three different, oh, distinctions. Midnight ends one day, but it's also the beginning of the next day. So midnight can be written as 2400, but it is also equal to 0 hundred hours. So midnight one day is 0 hundred hours the next day. So midnight has two notations, but 12 o'clock itself, if it's midnight or first thing in the morning, either one, you'd use 2400 or 0 hundred. But noon, now remember, is 1200 hours. So that, that time kind of starts a little bit of confusion with students. So if it is first thing in the morning, okay, say you stayed up all night, you stayed up till midnight. If you stayed up to 2400 hours, which is actually 01, 00, 0 hundred hours. The next minute is 0, 0, 0, 1. There's no such thing as 2401. 2400 is the absolute last number you can get to. So one minute after midnight is 0, 0, 0, 1. This would go all the way up to 0, 0, 5, 9, 59 minutes after midnight. Then you'd go to 0100, which is 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, so basically, your morning hours are just as they are written on the clock until you get to noon. After 12 o'clock in the afternoon, you'd add 12 or you go to 1 o'clock, but you add 12 because you've already completed 12 hours. So that 1 o'clock is actually 1,300 hours. 2 o'clock, you add 12, that's 1,400 hours. Uh, so a couple of rules when you state time. You say 0 if the first digit is a 0. Say 0, 0 if the first two digits are both 0. So it's like uh, if you stayed up till 20 minutes after midnight, you'd say 0, 0, 0020. If the minutes are represented by 0, 0, then say 100. So if you stayed up till 1 o'clock in the morning, you'd say 0, 100 hours. All right, and here are some practice. So military time, this would be 0235. 12.08 a.m., remember, is the beginning of the day, so this 12 is actually 00, zero so it would be 0008. Zero, 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 3.14 p.m., 3 o'clock, you add 12, that's 15.14. 11.54 p.m., you'd add 12, 23.54. 6.59 p.m., you add 12, that's 18.59. So write these in standard time. 0, 0, 0011, remember that's right at 11 minutes after midnight. So you would write that as 12 colon 11 a.m. 0849, that's 849 in the morning, 8 colon 49 a.m. 1527, so anytime you're after 1200 hours, you're into the afternoon. So if you subtract 12 from 15, that's 3. So this is actually 327 in the afternoon, which would be 3 colon 27 p.m. 2145, you subtract 12 from 21, and that's 945 p.m. So that's 9 colon 45 p.m. 0, 0,500 hours, that's 5 o'clock in the morning, 5 colon 0, 0 a.m. And that's all there is to time and temperature.